No one can hold their breath forever. First off, can we just appreciate this ace? I got one viper ace a few days ago for this video, but my software didn't capture correctly. Once I noticed that error the next day, I hopped back on Valorant and the first game in the first round I got another ace. Kinda cool. Anyways, please like and subscribe to stay up to date for more awesome Valorant content just like this. At 1000 subscribers, I will reveal my two doggo wagos, so come join the community and keep an eye out for that. Viper's real name is Sabine. She's from Alaska as mentioned by Lydia Zanotti, a Riot 3D environment artist in a Valorant Lore Discord server. The American chemist deploys an array of poisonous chemical devices she created by using Radionite to control the battlefield and cripple the enemy's vision. Viper earned a doctorate in chemistry and, get this, she used to use her knowledge to heal others when she was younger, much like what Sage does now. However, that was Viper's past, and now she is a savage and a con confident agent who doesn't fear enemies. In fact, she desires the enemy's fear. Just like her utility, she can be quite toxic. They call me a monster. Shall I prove them right? Viper appears to have links to Seattle due to what we can see in her personal card. The card name, One Dark Knight, is based in Seattle as you can see by this building in the background of the card, which the name of the building is Space Needle, and this building can be found in Seattle. The name One Dark Knight suggests something bad or sinister happened in the city on a particularly spooky night. Though I couldn't find any specifics, according to Zach Betcha, former Valorant narrative lead, he stated, Viper comes from a history that has done a lot to her, and in some ways it's been negative, and in some ways I don't want to say it's been positive, but she is a function of her past. I think whatever happened to Viper in Seattle was the root cause of her new villain persona and why she switched from healing people to now using toxins to hurt her enemies. You wanted a villain? I gave you a villain! Viper's history is an interesting one. She was a co-founder of the Valorant Protocol, along with Brimstone. Despite being one of the founders, it appears that Brimstone and Sage lead the Valorant Protocol as first and second in command. Viper's opinion on whether she wants to be in such a leadership position or not is currently unknown, but at one point in her life, she was working with Kingdom, which to keep it simple if you guys don't know already, Kingdom is a corporation whose sole goal is to acquire Radiantite for malicious purposes. But here's the twist, they also are responsible for supplying three-fourths of the world's energy needs. During her time with Kingdom, Viper helped the corporation convince the people who live near the map Bind, which is located in Rabat, Morocco, to allow Kingdom to build the Radiantite refinery complex there. Her research has led her to learn many secrets at the cost of unconventional and likely very unethical experiments. However, she does regret helping Kingdom build the refinery complex on Bind, as she says when she's played on the map Bind. The lies we've told this city. Just to pry it open and suck it dry. Looking at the versus Reyna and Viper player card, we can see Reyna and Viper angrily facing each other, while at the bottom of the card we see an adult Viper holding the hand of what appears to be a young Reyna walking down a hallway at some sort of scientific facility. There are mostly two schools of thought about this player card. On one hand, it's a possibility that Viper is many years older than Reyna and experimented on a young Reyna giving her ready night powers. However, what I kinda think is true, it's also possible that the young girl Viper is holding hands with is actually Reyna's little sister. Viper could have been doing experiments on Reyna's little sister that went bad and she ended up not surviving. Reyna's voice line of For you, Hermanita, which Hermanita means sister in Spanish, sounds like something someone would say about someone that they're mourning, and would also explain why Reyna looks mad at Viper in the player card. What do you guys think about Viper's lore? What do you think happened to her in Seattle? Tell me in the comments below. Like and subscribe so we can get closer to our 1000 subscriber dog reveal. Thanks for watching and take it easy.